hey hi everyone uh, welcome again on my channel so today uh, after understanding the screen navigation and detail about the ACP GUI and login we will see our next topic uh, that is SAP business process and overview of SAP MM that is more or related to the P2P cycle understanding so P2P is nothing but procure to pay and uh, note that it is a very important topic and once you understand the SAP MM P2P cycle in detail then you can relate that SAP MM P2P cycle with all the relevant topics in MM area so everything will revolve around this P2P cycle so in nutshell it is a backbone of SAP procure to pay traditionally known as material management so this is a very important topic one more important thing do not run any transaction in system in this video just try to understand uh, how this process view and SAP MM P2P cycle works because you will not have all material master data or your org structure in this video so this video is only to understand do not perform any transaction or any practice in this screen sorry in this video so just try to relate things and understand of your best at this video and your next video after you create master data and uh, org structure you will see similar p2p cycle video where in your fifth or sixth video you have to really perform uh, p2p cycle in your system but this video is just to understand p2p cycle not to create anything in system okay so before going to p2p cycle that is our sourcing and procurement area just try to understand uh, overview of business how business works really so take an example of car uh, for example any company or any person who wanted to buy a car or i will relate this with let's say any xyz material that industry wanted for example some industry wanted to buy a metal sheet for example and so how it starts so any industry who want to buy a metal sheet they will do uh, 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 so um, they will do enquiry to the company who sells it so any customer who want to buy metal sheet they will do enquiry then against enquiry what we do usually when we go for buy anything or car for example we always request for quotation so we ask for quotation give me quotation then that enquiry and quotation will get convert into the sales order if customer is agree with that quotation and he want to buy it then he will create a sales order that sales order will ch check availability of that particular product for example car so what that particular dealer will do he will check availability whether he have that material available in its storage location or warehouse or its its sites or I don't know where he is storing that particular car if that car is available he will confirm he will send confirmation to the party and he will perform its out he will create document for its delivery that is nothing but delivery document in SAP term we say it's outbound delivery then according to the transport uh, or maybe if that person is going to pick it by himself then picking will happen and that goods will get issue from plant to that particular person or transport facility and same time financial transactions will also came into the picture because it's changing inventory and according to the price uh, again sales order we will provide him an invoice and he will complete the payment ups now think in other way you don't have available car available with you then what will happen so that sales order 
will after checking availability check it will run MRP now MRP is material requirement planning so what material you need the planning about those material so in this case system will run MRP and will again there will be two scenario if that particular company create car by themselves then it will get convert to plan order to the production order but if that company is not creating car by themselves and they are bringing car or that dealer is bringing car from some company then it will be external requirement and this side is internal requirement means they are creating by themselves so external requirement will create a purchase requisition and at this point mm or sourcing and procurement will come into picture now we will finish with production planning side so production planning side once production order is created in that case then they will receive a raw material from uh, mm side so against this production order they will create some reservation for storage or mm or warehouse and they will get raw material against those reservations so that i haven't shown here but yeah here i can put reservation and again again that reservation it will get materials okay so then this once they receive material then they will run the production line according to their availability for production and then production will happen and then they will final product will be ready and then production order will get closed and settled and that stock will be moved to the storage or warehouse and from that warehouse again then delivery will happen so this is a one way but again if they don't have that particular material and yeah and for raw material also this mm will run in case even they are final product is uh, created by production but still if they need raw material so in this production order depending on what raw materials are there again pr will created and those raw materials will get delivered okay then other aspect so when that external requirement is created so it will create purchase requisition now we will see mm area that is our focus so in sourcing and procurement its name itself suggest or traditionally known as mm and now with s for hana or cloud we say sourcing and procurement so purchase requisition once we have purchase requisition there are two parts sourcing and procurement so sourcing part is nothing but identify the right source for that particular product and deciding vendor of that product come onto the sourcing and procurement means buying actual good from that vendor so that's why it's a sourcing and procurement together now we will see sourcing part so sourcing once you receive purchase requisition then against that purchase requisition we create a request for quotation so we request different vendors for the quotation from various media that we will see in detail in p2p cycle in next video then we maintain that quotation when decide vendor and then source of supply means which vendor will provide me the uh, that particular product or maybe there are couple of vendor if one vendor is not fulfilling our requirement then according to purchase requisition date we create a po purchase order we do confirm we do uh, vendor do the confirmation for that order then he send the goods and that goods get received into storage and warehouse and according to that goods received uh, we he sent us invoice and we do vendor payment against that invoice again if that good you are using quality management then if that good need a quality check then it will not go directly to storage location it will come to the quality inspection you do quality inspection and then if that quality is appropriate then it go to store if that quality is not appropriate then again it sent back to the vendor that is a different process but this is a high level overview of a business processes where you try to understand how 
on high level business process work and uh, this is the way of now uh, this is the high level understanding like why we deal with the different module and how it is integrated for example sales and distribution how it is integrated to mm here through this way or how it integrated to production planning and how it is integrated quality inspection note that these are not the only module in sap but there are so many modules but high level business work in this flow and it's not like it's applicable everywhere but it is just a high level or you to understand how business runs in day to day processes there might be hr there might be plant maintenance for running all the equipments on production or sourcing site there will be your uh, cleaning staff so many modules will be there but this is a functional process overview in nutshell so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video thanks bye yeah and uh, in case you have questions you can put in the comment section and and uh, i will be happy to answer those questions so see you in the next video bye